Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Camus from CZT Annette Rumpler. And as you see on the top there, I, for a very brief time, I thought, oh, this would be, I really should, you know, write down the number of, because I've been um, doing this um, consecutive 100 day project since the. They technically start, if you're following the 100-day project uh, format, is like the end of January, January 31st. So I started this January 31st, 2021, and decided I don't like to, I don't want to start over. I, we, you know, gone through these 100 days, don't want those numbers to go to waste, so we just keep counting. Um, so that was my thing. And so today is day 1,000. And so that's 1,000 quickie videos, a thousand daily tangles. Absolutely amazing. And so then, um, let's see, at well, 1001, I will embark on, I don't know how many times this is through. I think I would, I have to add one. So that's the 11th time through something like that. Anyway, totally fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you for and watching, leaving comments. I, I don't know if you're sharing because I mean, the, the number of subscribers is just crazy. Um, for somebody that I, I don't do a lot, I don't do a lot, a lot of promotion. People know, um, it's just, just thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a support. Um, uh, it's just so fantastic. All right. So let's take a look at Camus. This can be a border tangle. It can be a fill in. It can be lots of things. It's really fun. All right. So we're going to, we're just going to show it as say a border. So here's one border line. Here's the second border line. Then, actually, that's the way I like it. I like it better that way. Okay. Then we're going to put in some, well, essentially they're C-shaped curve lines. I mean, they're going to end up looking like U's sort of here. So I think I can get three in here. Whatever size you want, it's all good. They can be different sizes. Whatever the pen wants, right, the pen gets. Then kind of in the center, a nice straight line-ish, you know how, it's a tangle. As close to a straight line as you can get. <laughs> and there we go. They look like very tall. Well, no, I guess it could be, well, no, it's not quite a, like a margarita glass. You know, very tall, very um, shallow wine glass is what I was thinking. <laughs> All right. So just looking at this, these are essentially, these are your three steps. On my version of the step out, well, actually, I think on Annette's too, uh, just because I didn't want to make it on a bigger piece of paper. Um, yeah, you know, just sure laziness on my part. But too, sometimes I debate, it's like, oh, do I really need to show you those first two lines? Okay, it's a border. Um, so I go back and forth, and this time I'm like, well, I'm just going to leave it, like, just the way Annette has it. So so that was step one with that and the um, the bumps. And uh, as we would call it, like, in Crescent Moon. Um, and then uh, this part. So it, I, I put a note on, on mine. I can't remember if Annette had one or not. But these three areas, we're going to essentially alternate auraing them. So starting where we started with those first two border lines, we're going to aura that. And you can kind of think how about a little bit when there's such a distance like this and in this kind of style, if you keep your distance similar, then it's good. Okay. And then remember to do the bottom. kind of trailed that one off with my hand. Okay. Okay. So the borderline, now we'll do the bump. And remember, we're not going over any line. So in this one, in particular, you could think halibau because that way you can, you know, uh, as you come around and if you don't understand halibau, it's you pick up your pen, travel it across where you, if you were going over, where you would go over, but you're not drawing. So you pick up your pen, put it down on the other side, and continue on. So it's one, um, kind of one thought process. I think I need to do it this way. We'll see if this is better. 
sort of without turning the tile upside down, which is what I par partly really want to do. Yeah, it doesn't matter whichever way. Okay. Then the third thing we did, right, was these the stems. <laughs> so aura in those. The tricky with tricky part about this one is that it's it's more of a focus. Okay, and then rinse, repeat. So starting with the border. Because it's easy, like if you get distracted, it's like, oh, where where did I end up? Oh, I don't remember. And then two, sometimes if it's not that, it's, well, how did I get, how did I do two in this one area and, and miss it? So that happens. See, and then we're doing the bump. I'm going off the page. And then the stem. Whatever names you feel like inserting in there, feel free. <laughs> but sometimes, especially because it's so repetitive, maybe you want to have some kind of a mantra that, oh, I'm this, 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 and that's it. I think I might stop there because I really like the look of that. And that is basically it. You can keep going as long as you want, you know, as far as you want to go. Um, we had some, and I am going to, let's see, I'm, I am going to do my very best. I've got so many videos to get caught up on. But if you want to see the results, go to my website, link is in the description, and subscribe to my blog. When I send it out, you will get it. That's how I send it out. Um, uh, I will, you know, I, I post the replays here on YouTube. So if you subscribe to the channel, then you will. And if you get notices, you'll get a notice that I have those. I also have a playlist. So if you want to check out the classes, um, check them out. Come join us live. It, it, we, you, well, if you watch it, you'll see we have a lot of fun. Some things you just kind of have to be there because when the chat's, you know, the chat is always crazy. We, we really have so much fun. It's such... It, this has turned into such a, a beautiful family of tanglers and um, it's, it's, uh, words almost cannot describe. Um, so anyway, you know, check those out, but do look because it was so interesting. The differences that, uh, that people had now shading. <laughs> well, I mean, you could also decorate. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't think um, I'm just, I, it's just neat kind of the way it is. But here, here's some ideas on shading. One, and I think I will employ, ooh, I could do it two different, no, nah, I'm not going to. So it depends on what you want to highlight. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put kind of a jaggedy line of graphite right in where those, you know, where things collide, right? You know, it's kind of like a stair steps, right, in there. So almost like I'm, I'm drawing a thick line, really in those places and then I'm going to spread the graphite to both sides now if you wanted to and say you want to just do I just want to do this side you could let's do that and this should work we need of course have to be careful but you see how you could do that or we'll do it this way and then I can always go back These are essentially just, like I said, diagonal lines. And then with a little bit of a circular motion, just so that way you spread it in both areas. It just looks, it, it looks fine either way. But, it, you know, it's whatever you want to get out of it. You know, however you see it uh, ending up. This, especially when we get all of it, it gives it a nice shiny look. Okay, so you, you know, I'll leave, I'll try to, I'm trying to leave that, but my hand wants to, <laughs> wants to do it the other way. Yeah. And you saw, I almost did, so. And the darker you go, in that crevice and you know and spreading it out and leaving that bit of openness you can kind of see how it it can have a metallic look and um again it's all about the look that you want it to have 
um, oh, and let's just do a little with what's left here. Yeah. Neat, neat, very art deco, right? Okay, so here is some of the fun that I had with it today. So this was my first tile. I think I probably need to, oh no, I don't need to bring it up. Uh, so this, it's all, it's, I think my camera is twisted a little funny. Weird angle. All right, I'll play with it later. Oops, sorry. Okay, that was not your eyes, that was the camera. Um, so this one, I decided I wanted to do a full page. So, you know, all you do, those first, you just, you're making um, rows instead of it just being a border. You're just, you know, piling them on top of each other. And this one, I decided I want, obviously this is, uh, it's gold metallic on a black tile. Um, and then I did some silver in the background because I thought, oh, well, you know, you can leave these open. You could put a little tangle in there or something else if you want. Uh, we had some folks do that. Um, but I decided to do the same thing similarly. So I just did with the um, uh, the bump and then uh, the stem. Well, uh, yeah, and, the, and then the border continuing it just, just for fun. And it turned out kind of neat and adding, I'm, I'm probably going to add, add some more color and stuff to it. And then I decided to play with my scratch off uh, paper that I have. <laughs> and uh, this, uh, you can get this, for, I got this from Dick Blick and I just realized they have other colors. This is the rainbow. And I'm like, oh, well, now that I have one, maybe I need to collect. I think there was like five different sets or something. Um, it, it's on, I found it on Dick Blick. If you go to my website uh, and find the link for the enabler fulfillment uh, section, then that um, that's, that's essentially the store. <laughs> and I put, I think I said put Zentangle products in parentheses. But I have a, like a, a link there for Dick Blick. So if you know if you want to shop there, they have they really they have great prices. I they might ship outside of the U.S. I don't know. Uh, you know, take a look and see. I, I started reading something about that. But, you know, I think you have to like get a quote. It's just more complicated. Um, but they have great prices, good selection. Um, I've mentioned them before because you can get a lot of times uh, individual pencils, pens, things like that. Um, and that's just handy because you don't want to buy a whole new set when you just ran out of one color. Um, but anyway, it's by Melissa and Doug. I just, if you search, uh, this was called scratch notes, um, three and it's the same size. So it's three and a half inch square. I'm like, Oh, that's just perfect. And what is it? It's a pack of like 125. It's just, it's, it's just a lot of fun to, you know, to reveal the colors underneath. Um, so anyway, I share that uh, just just for your um, having fun shopping pleasure. But uh, say I get a little something, I get a little, you know, if you click on the link and use the link uh, after shopping. So check that out. It's in that, uh, that's in that section. So that was that. And this was just plain because, again, I was just messing around. And then I decided I wanted to try on a um, translucent Z uh, Zentangle tile. So it's it's like a vellum. You can kind of you can see my fingers through there so what I might do because you see what's in the fun about the vellum tiles is and these are nice nice thick you can buy vellum uh, I, I've there's probably some places where it's thick um, but this is you know it's it feels like the thickness of a playing card say um, but it's just neat because then you can have fun doing things on the back side and um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So anyway, so I had fun in this one. I decided, well, I want to alternate where those bumps are and, you know, go from the top to the bottom. It still comes out neat. You know, it's either it looks like columns like this or it's just, you know, some it, it, it's just neat. And then kind of doing a partial, you know, on either side. Just a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And there was even more, there was there was way better creativity than this on there. And it, oh my gosh, we just had so much fun. All right. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button and feel free to share it, leave comments, all of that kind of thing. And, um, yeah, well, I, said, I think I said, if you'd like to know, see more, make, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. Would love that. I appreciate any and all of those activities because that has re really, um, that is what 
builds the the channel it brings brings people uh, you know it suggests things like i said i don't i don't pay for promotion i don't i don't you know i mention it um people on our facebook group um you know use it because you know when i do the daily tangle i post it there so it's just you know it's it's completely organic growth and i just love it so um thank you again so much for uh for watching for being a supporter do check out the description section for the step outs um, as well as those ways to connect with me, including that Facebook group. So um, if you want to be a part of the, the conversation and be, be a part of the fam, uh, we'd love to have you. There are four questions, just so you know, because it is a private group. And I like to make sure to set the tone and make sure I'm getting actual people that are on um, and and actually good people. And uh, so, uh, so I have those four questions uh, that you have to answer in order to gain entry. So with that... Thank you again so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.